If you are living in Palm Beach, Florida, and you are looking to get into real estate for cheaper than you ever thought, if you are looking to find properties at the lowest prices you've ever fathomed, fathomed, that's what I got for you, folks. I'm here to help Palm Beach investors like you get into the game for 15 grand. Go from nobody to landlord for $15,000 right from the comfort of your own home in Palm Beach, Florida. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my clients, Sandy and Chris, and I'm here to help you guys stretch your savings into as many rental properties as we can. You guys are trying to build uh, <clears throat> long-term wealth for your family. And the property I have for you today, very, very low cost, folks. $15,000. That's all that's going to be required out of you. My team does all the on-the-ground work. Let's take a look at the property, the numbers, the market, how my team will handle the management right now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the numbers. Number, 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 number. 1247 West 17th, Lorraine, Ohio. Love this little town, folks. How many of you have heard of Lorraine, Ohio? Probably none ya, right? None ya, unless you're a frequent flyer here on Holton Wise TV, right? <clears throat> when people Google the best cash flow markets, Cleveland comes up, right? Lorraine is half hour west of Cleveland. Greater Cleveland area, that's what I service, okay? We're dealing with a population, four to five mil, okay? The city of Cleveland, which gets all the attention, Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Guardians or Indians, LeBron James, you know, everybody thinks about Cleveland. Only like 340,000 people, right? So Cleveland is a very small little lightning, uh, lightning rod in the grand scheme of things, right? And you actually get better deals out here in Lorraine, right? Number one, less demand because not a lot of people pay attention to it on a national scale. Not a lot of people besides regular viewers of Holton Wise TV know about this beautiful little hidden gem, right? Number one. Number two, I believe the government is much easier to deal with, right? De currently, right now, the city of Cleveland, folks, we're dealing with these new lead paint regulations that are just a whole mess, right? Uh people going through these new uh, lead paint uh, processes. It's very convoluted, very confusing process. As a matter of fact, I made a half hour long video about it. So if you're going to invest in the Cleveland market, you better know and understand that process because it's changed the way we do business in this market. I've linked to it below after this show. Watch it. Uh, what I'm advising a lot of my clients to do is hold back on rentals in the city of Cleveland and have not gone through the process once. OK, we need to get the first ones out of the way, get the understanding of how this process is going to work. Right. Because some big repairs could be coming uh, on the first round. After that, shouldn't be a big deal. But that first round, y'all better hold back and let's invest in some other spots where, you know, the government's you know, got an idea of what's going on. They're not running around like crazy like Cleveland right now. Right. So Lorraine, Lorraine's nice to deal with in this house. Just the two photos. Right. Because they got a long term tenant in there. They've been paying seven hundo. But guess what? The market rent's a lot higher, right? This is actually an $1,100 rental, man. We can get Section 8 tenants paying 11 for a house like this. Now, they're asking 69 It's been on the market forever. Doesn't mean we get to, like, lowball, lowball. It's one of those scenarios where it's not really, like, being amazingly marketed, number one. Number two, not a lot of people pay attention to Lorraine. Number three... I believe the seller's sitting kind of firm. So we're going to try to beat them up a little bit. But I think the best case scenario here would be us getting a $9,000 discount. I'd like to try to pick it up for you at 60 If we could do that, by the time you get the tenant up to market rent, you're looking at an NOI on average about 7 Gs a year, man. And then, and then 
when you go ahead and finance the sucker. All you need is 15 grand, right? That's why people come to the Cleveland market, come to this market, have my company help them find the assets, analyze the assets, do the property management, do the maintenance, do the construction, do the insurance. All you need is 15 grand. And guess what? I got lenders for you to give you the other 45, right? So that would project out to a long-term investment about 32%. Now, just so you know, though, that would be contingent on us getting the tenant from 7 to 11. It's not going to happen overnight. You want to slowly raise them up. If you just go, hey, man, your rent was 7, it's 11, or you got to get the hell out, they're probably going to get the hell out, right? So what I'd like to do, maybe go 750, then 850, then 950. Do it slowly, right? Because if they turn over, we don't have any photos, but I've been in this game a long time, long time. I'll tell you what the inside of that house looks like. The inside of that house looks like a house that you need to do a tenant turnover. You don't get to just go in there, sweep up, and then put it on the market for rent at 1100 No, 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 no. Long, long-term tenant, below market rent, dude. We're repainting it. If there's carpets, we're replacing them, putting vinyl down or refinishing hardwoods. We're probably doing kitchen and bath fixtures, too. Home Depot lows quality stuff, right? There ain't no scenario where we're not doing like a five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 turnover after this long-term tenant moves out. That's just the name of the game, right? So what the smart investor wants to do is keep them in there as long as they can, but not at $700. We've got to slowly raise that up. And if we could do so appropriately without them moving out, without us creating an artificial turnover, you're making a friggin' killing. If they do move out, hey, it's the name of the game. We renovate the property, do the turn, get new tenants in there, make money, move on. Only 15 k is needed. Great little area. I consider it like a C-grade neighborhood. For more info on what I mean when I say C-grade neighborhood, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. It's in the notes below. Also... This little area right here, two new naval bases are being built, okay? It's going to add thousands of jobs to this area. You take a sleepy little town like this that ain't nobody heard of, and you put thousands of jobs, you inject that into this area, you know what you get? You know what housing does? It increases in demand. You know what happens when it increases in demand? The money goes up, both rental pricing and resale value folks this deal banger let's go thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment